Good morning and welcome to Friday. You yeah. got that Friday feeling? He hasn't. He hasn't got a Friday feeling. He just don't know he's born. Admittedly, there's a lot going on this weekend. It's Mother's Day. We're delivering flowers Sunday. Saturday is Glenn's mum's birthday. So we're going to go down and see her. Deliver some present. It's not a bad weekend. Mr Warner's feeling busy. He's got a lot to do. Well, I haven't got the van back either yet. So. He hasn't got the van back yet either. So today I've got a call at 11. And Mr Warner has not one but two funerals to do today. Right, off the beer and... Uh, two funerals today, one at 12, one at 3. Um, got a bit of a bad back actually, I'm hoping I'm gonna, I'll be all right. I've just, I've had a bad back for about a, for a couple of weeks now. It's just a little bit painful, but I'll, uh, I'll manage. So I've just arrived at Beaton and it's very really quiet here today. There's obviously a few cars here. And there might be a service actually going on. Actually, I think there is a service going on. It says here, yeah, service in progress on the door. So uh, the one the funeral I'm here for is the one after this one. Right, just got back from uh, the first funeral. Just going to nip back to the boat. The next one's not till three, so I've got a couple of hours. And I'll see you in a bit. So I haven't heard from Mr Warner. He's gone off to do a funeral and I haven't heard from him. I'm just finishing this week's vlog all and that's almost ready to send over to Samuel. So that's good. Notice Mr Warner's filled the bird feeders up. Oh, Mr Warner, I was just wondering about you. How did it go? Yeah, it Let's stick you up there. Can you see me? Just focus, focus. There we go. There we go. So tonight for tea. Glenn bought this beef yesterday and I was pondering what to do with it. I delved into the back of the cupboard and found this beef and ale stew. I was like, oh, that'll be all right. Then... It said that you needed, one second, let me grab my glasses. It said you needed carrots, we got that, beef, we've got that, 250 mil of brown ale. I was like, oh, we haven't got that. Then Glenn remembered, got a bottle of this. It's non alcoholic, but that should be fine, shouldn't it? That's 33cl. Do we know what that is in millilitres? No. Um, and some tomato puree so we've got everything we need to be going on with that this one is actually for slow cooker i'm not going to cook it in the slow cooker i'm going to cook it in the oven at a really low temperature right that's ready to go in the oven mr warner's just popped back He's done the funeral, the van is ready to pick up. Oh, he is so happy. So he's just gone off to pick the van up so, with a skip in his step. Oh, oh Mr. Warner's back. Da, 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 da. Oh, Mr. Warner, how's the van? Yeah, no, it drives all right, yeah. It's fast, maybe. Yeah, okay. I'm not supposed to be eating cake, but no. then we'll start again tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what have I got in here? Do you remember the rest of the celeriac that I didn't use earlier in the week? Well, I've sliced it up and I've stuck it in some boiling water for a few minutes and I'm going to stick that on top of the beef. Let's have a look. Oh, that's looking tasty. Right, so I've put the celeriac slices on top. I'm just going to give it a little bit of cheese on top just so it goes all brown and crispy. Yeah, and then I'm going to sit that back in the oven. I've been listening to my audio book all afternoon. It's fab. Right, going to sit that back in the oven. So, here we go. Let's see what it tastes like. Go on, Mr Warner. There's a lot of celeriac on there. You might have to dig deep 